Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Kalyani Smacks Academy where we are preparing you today for tomorrow's competition and here in this series this competition is CBSE board examination which we have left for just with the 90 days. So we have started with this series chapter wise MCQ series in which we are going to focus on MCQ questions chapter wise. All the 14 chapters we are going to cover. Uh, we have already made the first video on the real number. If you have not watched that video, go and watch that video and this is the second video in this series on the chapter polynomial so what we are going to do on your screen you will see you will be seeing one mcq question you will be getting some time to answer in the comment section option a b c d and then we will be solving and revising whole polynomial chapter and we will be practicing at least 10 to 15 mcqs in this video so this is the second part second video in this series on the chapter polynomial so let's get started first question which of the following expression is a polynomial? Option A, 3x square minus 2 into root x plus 1. Option B, 5x cube minus 4 upon x plus 2. Option C, 2 into x to the power 4 minus 7x plus 9. Option D, x to the power 1 by 2 plus 3x minus 5. You guys, answer in the comment section. What is your answer? A, B, C, D. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. All right. So, what is your answer here? Option C, 2 into x to the power 4 minus 7x plus 9. Why? Polynomial. What is polynomial? Polynomial, it consists of a variables and coefficients, right? It consists of the variables and coefficients in which we are doing the algebraic expressions, operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and non-negative integers. Now, what is the only condition? That condition is power of the variable. It should be non-negative integer. That is a whole number. Non-negative integer. That is a whole number. In the first option, two root x. So it is a x to the power 1 by 2. So your option A is ruled out. Option B minus 4 upon x. It means x to the power minus 1. So this option is also ruled out. Option D it is again x to the power 1 by 2. Which is again not a whole number. So this option is also ruled out. Ruled out. What is your answer? Option C 2x to the power 4 minus 7x plus 9. Just remember that in the polynomial power of the variable should be whole number. Power of the variable should be whole number that is the only condition next question <coughs> what is the degree of the polynomial p of x is equal to 5 to the power 5 into x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 7x minus 1 option a1 option b2 option c3 option d4 answer in the comment section come on quickly what is the degree of given polynomial so your answer is option d4 option d4 because if you are seeing all the terms 5 into x to the power 4 what is highest degree here a uh, highest power 4 for the term 3x square what is your power here 2 then 7x what is power of x it is a 1 so in all these three terms what is the highest power that is the 4 and this highest power is the only degree of your polynomial so degree of the polynomial is defined as the highest exponent of the variable in the polynomial that is the 4. That's why here answer is a 4. Next, if p of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 3, what is the value of p of 3? Option a 0, option b 3, option c minus 3, option d 6. See, all the questions you are seeing here, they are based on the previous year questions only. They have asked such a questions in CBSC board examination. Then and then only we are doing this year. Okay. So, what is your answer here? Come on quickly. Now, what they are saying P of X is given as X square minus 2X minus 3. And they are asking the value of P of 3. Means you have to just put the value of X is equal to 3 everywhere. And you have to compare this P of X as a 0. So, 0 would be equal to T square minus 2 into 3 minus 3. Which is nothing but 9 minus 6 minus 3 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 so your answer is a that is a 0 all right okay next second okay question number 4 which of the following is a quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial i'm repeating again so, we have uh, different different polynomial, linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial. You should know what is difference between these. Linear polynomial. Then, quadratic polynomial. 
then we have cubic polynomial. Okay, so option A 2x plus 5, option B x cube minus 4x plus 1, option C 3x square plus 6x minus 2, option D 7x to the power 4 minus 2x square. What is your answer? Your answer is 3x square plus 6x minus 2. Why? Because see, we are dividing this polynomial on the basis of degree. On the basis of degree. We have seen what is degree of the polynomial? Basically, it is the highest power of the variable. Okay, now degree we know that according to that degree if that degree is equal to 1 it is called as a linear polynomial if it, that degree is a 2 it is called as a quadratic polynomial and if that degree is a 3 it is called as a cubic polynomial so quadratic polynomial is defined as a polynomial of a degree 2 means highest power of the variable in the polynomial is a 2 that's why your answer is c here if you are seeing option a it is a linear <coughs> polynomial option b is a cubic polynomial and option c is a yes quadratic polynomial all right next question find the zero of the polynomial p of x is equal to 2x minus 6 come on quickly you can do this now you know how to find the zero of the polynomial you should know what is the zero of the polynomial up here november mahina hai and if you are confusing with the zero of the polynomial degree of the polynomial then you have to think very seriously up up yaha pe koi confusion nahi hona chahiye what is the zero of the polynomial? What is the zero of the polynomial? Come on quickly. What is answer here? Let's see. So your answer is x is equal to 3. Why? Because you have to, uh, to find the zero of the polynomial. What we have to do? We have to equate this given polynomial to 0. P of x is equal to 0. What is P of x here? 2x minus 6 which is equal to 0. Now solve this equation. 2x is equal to 6 and then x is equal to 6 by 2 which means x is equal to alright so this is the zero of the polynomial that is x is equal to t option b how to find the zero of the polynomial basically you have to equate given polynomial with a zero next question what is the coefficient of x square in the polynomial this is very easy question okay just take check the term with the x square it is a minus 5 x square and what is the coefficient it is a minus 5. Minus bulna nahi hai ya pe. Do not forget minus sign here. So let's see what is answer here. Option B that is a minus 5. Always remember what is a coefficient. Coefficient of a term in a polynomial. It is a numerical factor that multiplies the variable. Numerical factor. And that numerical factor here it, it is a minus 5. What is the coefficient of x cube? x cube it is a 4. What is the coefficient of x? It is a 2. And this 8 is what? It is a constant term. All right. This was the question number six. Next. Question number seven. If x minus one is a factor of the polynomial p of x is equal to x square plus kx minus four, what is the value of k? Option A three, option B minus three, option C five, option D minus one. Come on. Answer in the chat box. Quickly. Now you should know. If something is a factor of polynomial, what does it mean? Okay. What does it mean? So, your answer is a 5. Why? See, when you are saying that x minus 1 is a factor. So, according to factor theorem, according to factor theorem, what is it? We have seen this in polynomial chapter. What is the factor theorem? So, basically, when you are saying any factor, like x minus a is a factor of p of x x minus a is a factor of p of x. It means when you are putting the value of x is equal to a, p of a must be equal to 0. p of a must be equal to 0. Now here, they have given that, they have given that this x minus 1 is a factor. x minus 1 is a factor. Given polynomial. So it means I have to put x is equal to 1 here. So, P of 1 will be equal to 0. So, x square plus k of x minus 4 is equal to 0 where we have to put x is equal to 1. Just put all the values here. 1 square plus k into 1 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, k minus 3 is equal to 0. Correct or no? Okay, what is the wrong we are doing here? x square plus kx minus 4 x square plus kx minus 4. So, this is k minus 3. 
k is equal to 3. So your answer should be k is equal to 3, not a 5. Option A is answer here. All right? Okay. Next. So see, we are actually revising a whole chapter here, right? Factor theorem and everything. Next question. Product of the zeros of the quadrated polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. Very easy question. C upon a. C upon a. If ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta, sum of the roots. What is it? Minus b upon a. And alpha into beta, it is a c upon a. In this question, they have asked us to find product. So, product is C upon A. Alright? Okay. Next question. Question number 9. <coughs> How many zeros does cubic polynomial typically have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer in the comment section. Come on quickly. Both easy question. Hai. Ek hi concept pata honi chahiye. What is cubic polynomial? Or zeros. How, how to find the zeros? So, your answer is clear here. Why? First of all, remember... Cubic polynomial means what? Any polynomial whose degree is 3. Whose degree is 3. Correct? Now, which theorem we have to apply here? Fundamental theorem of algebra. What is it? So, this theorem says polynomial of a degree n, polynomial of a degree n has exactly n complex roots or exactly have a zeros. How many zeros we have? And if it is a like its degree is a 2, it will be having only 2 zeros. If it has a 3 degree, it will be having 3 zeros only. Now we are talking about cubic polynomial. Yes, we are talking about cubic polynomial. So in the cubic polynomial, we have degree 3. So we will be having exactly 3 zeros. That is your final answer. That is 3 zeros. If it is a quadratic polynomial, it will be having exactly 2 zeros. Why? Because for the quadratic polynomial, we have degree as a 2. Last question. Simplify the expression. Both easy. This is easy. 2x plus 3 plus x minus 5. So 2x plus x, it is a 3x. And 3 minus 5, it is a minus. So it is a 3x minus 2. That is a option number. Option B. All right. Okay. So we are done with this quiz. These are the 10 MCQs on the chapter polynomial. We have covered almost all the facts or all the types that they have already asked in the CBSC board. We have covered what is polynomial basic definition in which what we are saying power of the variable should be whole number. That concept. Second, we have seen what is the degree of the polynomial, right? Highest power of any term. Then according to degree, we have seen the types of the polynomial. Linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial. Then we have seen the concept of zeros of the polynomial. Correct? We have seen the how to find the zeros of the polynomial alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. So we have covered almost all the concept from the polynomial chapter. And trust me, this question is not question bilkul nahi aega. If you are done with these topics and these concepts, you will be getting all full marks on the polynomial chapter. So this was the, this was chapter about polynomial. In the next chapter, we will be covering third chapter that is a quadratic equation. Stay tuned and if you have not subscribed our channel, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much.